All right. I know I said I'd stream this, but uh, the game released on Friday at uh, 12 a.m. UK time. And, well, it sort of didn't let me stream because the game wasn't out for everybody. So that sucked. Um, you know, of course, I was very excited for this game, so I did not want to wait. So I just thought I'd play through. You know, maybe upload a few of the scenes, but I did this. I uploaded uh, the scene with Joel and Ellie where Joel plays the guitar and sings. But, of course, a lot of other people are watching other things as well. So I didn't figure that would do very well, so I've deleted that video. Um... So I thought I'd do this instead, just give my overall opinion on the game. Um, I've seen on Twitter a lot of people, you know, just are really not happy. And while I do understand, because it's just, you know, the le the leaks were there. I'd, I'd also seen the leak. I saw the leak for this. Like, maybe... Like, what was it? It was, it was literally when the leak started. I was just scrolling down on Twitter. I saw, I saw a... Picked a picture of Joel basically dead, and to be fair, at first I was like, "Well, you know, fuck this game." And then I played the first game, and then I also heard that some of the leaks were debunked, so I bought this straight away, and that was that. And to be fair, man, I will be honest, I did enjoy this game, but there were some bits of the game that could have made it the t the ten out of ten, the, the the perfect perfect ten out of ten, like. You know, for example, this scene, this scene where Abby kills Joel, it it just doesn't make sense. I mean, it's within two hours as well, so they could have, I would have been fine with Joel dying had it been a little bit later on in the game. And his death had, well, his death did have meaning, but, well, it didn't. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get into that a little bit later. But, you know, if he died trying to save Ellie or something like that, because... You know, that's the sort of person Joel is. He couldn't save Sarah in the first game. So had he have saved Ellie, you know, but it takes his life, then it would have had a, a really big meaning to it. Um, I was about to say as well, about, about this scene in general, Joel, we learnt from the first game, he was a smuggler. He had been for 20 years. He'd been in situations like this constantly in those 20 years. You know, him and Tess as well, like, you know, when they took out... Walter, Walter and those guys, he, they could smell shit like this from a mile away. So him and Tommy just walking in here like this, you know, not not giving a fuck, just saying their names, where they live, blah blah blah. You know, I mean, they live in the apocalypse. It just it just didn't make sense, man. Like Joel, he just wasn't that sort of character. So I feel like Last of Us Part Two. Mm. Joel is still a badass, we know that, but I don't know, man. I'll, I'll, let, I'll let people have their own say on it, but I think that uh, they wrote Joel a little bit weird for this sort of thing. Like, you know, you get, you get, what, you get what I'm trying to say anyway, so I'll, I'll move on to something else now. Um, this scene in general, yeah, it was pretty fucking hard to watch because, you know, we played as Joel for the whole of the first game. And, you know, Ellie was there by her, by his side practically the whole time. And, you know, seeing Ellie come through the door and having to watch Joel get beaten the living shit out of with a bait. Well, I was about to say baseball bat then because of Walking Dead. But no, the golf golf club. It was it was horrible, really. And then, it, as, as the player as well, you really feel that sort of, that sort of loss and that anger as well. So that's why I kind of I kind of understand the revenge story they were going for because like you feel exactly what Ellie's feeling, and you what you want to kill them all basically. You want to kill them all for what they did to Joel. And all was I feel like all was going well right until they made us play as Abby. I I basically I wanted to skip through all that straight away because, you know, well they tried they tried to make Abby seem like a good person. Well, there are moments where I can understand, yeah, she was an okay character, but, you know, this 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 right here was our first impression of her. You know, straight off the bat, you can't forget what she did to Joel. So, there's a lot of times as well where you just, you're playing as Abby and you die on purpose just so you can see Abby die. But, yeah. Um... 
overall, I think what they did with uh, the WLF, I think it's called, and the scars. I, I don't agree with like, what was it, maybe around 70%, 80% of the game was based in Seattle. You know, like the first game, you, you'd be going from location to location. It's always, it was like, maybe around two hours in one place, two, three hours in one place, and then you move on to another place. And that was that. You want what I want, right? But um, yeah, it was just based in Seattle, mainly. And then you uh, you go to this far farmland, which Ellie and Dina live at. And then Tommy comes after being shot in the face by Abby. Um, I'll admit they did actually have me with a Tommy fake out. I thought he was completely dead. But um, what was I going to say? Yes, I remember now. Because Jesse was there as well. Jesse got killed by Abby. But what I don't get is when they first released the trailers for The Last of Us Part 2, there's one they released around eight months ago. At the end of the trailer, it showed Joel coming to Ellie. And it was the, it was the classic, you, you think I'd let you do this by yourself. And this happened in the game, but it wasn't Joel. So that right there was false advertising, it was Jesse that said that. So I don't understand, was there like a story change or was it just genuinely false advertising? Because I think whatever this story change was, they, they shouldn't have changed it straight away. Because that's what made the first game so good, there was that connection with Ellie and Joel. And while there were flashbacks in this game of Ellie and Joel, that those, those were literally the best bits of the game for a lot of people. And they were really good for me as well, especially the flashback where they're at the museum with the dinosaurs and the uh, you know the astronauts and all that sort of stuff I thought I thought that was really good and I really didn't even want that scene to end Jesse, but um, you know honestly this scene is just fucking pff, it's so hard to watch man but yeah like you just you just don't want it to end because you care about these two characters a lot man and um, you know and it just it just takes that away, you know. It takes that away, and that's why people are a bit, you know, they're shitting on the game basically because while they wanted it to be a, a ten out of ten sequel, it was more of like a, I don't know, what I even maybe. Well, for me personally, it would be a eight out of ten. Small. The real ones that would get what I did there. The, the real ones that get what I did there with their hands. But um, yeah, I think revenge would have been it would have been good as well because the motto of the game was kill every last one of them. But the ending, man. They they basically I don't know. You killed all these people to get Abby. You get Abby at the end, and you don't kill Abby. That shit just didn't make sense to me. Like, this one looks like a bird. she had a little vision of Joel, and surely that vision would make you more angry because you're literally with the person that killed Joel. But you don't kill that person, you let that person go. And I'm presuming as well, she's gone to the Fireflies. Because they mentioned there's like 200 odds of Fireflies, and it's more getting bigger and bigger so she's gonna go to the fireflies she knows exactly where Jackson is and she could probably take them to Jackson and that's what they could probably do for a third game but will a third game happen I don't know man I doubt it after the, the feedback from this game but yeah overall I feel like I did I I did enjoy it the graphics and the gameplay were literally a fucking 10 out of 10 it was actually insane but the story I think it was good in some parts and other parts were just not as good. It's, it's basically you can't com can you can go back to this game because it's literally a, you know oh, after. But um, you know the third the first game was literally on another level for storytelling, and I think a lot of other people will, will agree with that as well. But yeah, overall I think that's uh, what I gotta say about that. I I may upload some more stuff I can find like some meme uploads for the last of us but yeah other than that those are my thoughts on the game um
appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, and I shall see you in the next one. Take care. the hospital. You still in the fucking building? <laughs> Abby. No. Abby, don't look. Dad! It's not very accurate though, is it? I didn't do that. I did something a whole lot worse. Sweet Jesus. Doctor? What are you doing in here? I won't let you take